Master Gardeners. Here we are doing a little program for some Master Gardeners on how to do some lazy man seed starting in a milk jug. I just call this milk jug gardening and it's a nice lazy way to start them out on your porch and let them germinate when they choose to. So let's show you how to do it. I've got a list of supplies here for you. You're gonna take a look. We'll scan this at the close of our program, but what you're gonna need is a old milk jug washed and clean. You need a nice potting medium that's listed as a soil medium. You're gonna need one pack of seeds. We're gonna put the whole pack of seeds into the milk jug. You need a nice pair of scissors. You need a Sharpie marker. You need water, which we have in here, and you need duct tape. So those are the basic supplies. Here's my milk jug. We've got them here. Oh, this one stinks. You gotta make sure they're clean because we don't want bacteria on our new seeds, but truth is lettuce are gonna be fine. This is how you do it. You're gonna lay it down sideways, put your scissors in near the handle. I'll tell you what's easier to do. Make a line first. Handle to handle. If that helps, if you're doing this as a youth program, that's a real benefit with kids. And of course you don't want a weapon like this in their hands either. So you might have to cut for them. So we insert it, we cut all the way around. The handle will become the hinge. So if you didn't cut enough, you might have to come back in and trim it a little more. Then we're gonna fold these bottom sections like paper. And then you just stick your scissors in and nip one little notch. And I put a notch on all four sides, notch. Doesn't matter where, just good little drainage notches. Once I've done that, I'm ready for my soil medium. I'm gonna insert, now I like a pre-moistened soil medium. This is already wet. It's a lot easier when you're doing a youth program to have moist soil. Now, let me show you the difference. Look down here at what a, a non-moist soil medium looks like. This is dry. See the colors are different? The colors are different. It's real dark when it's moist and dry. So an evenly moist mix you don't have to water it as much when you're working with kids or if you're doing this program with some seniors. So it's really to your benefit to pre-moisten it prior to that. So then the next thing is, I've got my holes, I got my soil medium. If I'm gonna continue to grow my lettuce in there for the next month, then I make sure that I've got two to three inches of soil medium inside there. So I'm gonna put the rest in here. He's got his perfectly done. Well done. Sprinkle my seeds. One of the unique characteristics about lettuce is they don't need to be covered. This is how many seeds I'm putting on. There's my lettuce. Like I said, lettuce doesn't have to be covered. So I'm gonna level my soil a little. I might pat it just a tad. You'll find kids wanna press it down too much. We don't wanna do that. And then I pinch and evenly spread all over the surface. I'm placing the whole package of lettuce because the truth is I'm gonna harvest out of this. We're gonna discard the lids on the top of our containers. We don't need a lid on there. We're gonna leave it outside and if it snows, we don't care. Lettuce loves cold weather. So we're gonna let the rain go in. We're gonna let the snow go in. When I'm doing it for a kid's program, I wanna brush it off and make sure it's kinda of not too much soil messing it up. Clean it off a little. If my soil's nice and moist, I really don't even have to water it. And when I'm doing it with kids, I like to run the tape underneath the container a little because you know how they're gonna carry it home? They're gonna carry it by the handle. And how will Billy know that Bobby, how will they know whose container's whose? You've gotta make sure we write our names on them. I always use a black marker because I find black, the colors of reds and greens kind of give in to the sun a little bit more. You might find if you're doing a kid's program that it's better to do this even before you put your soil in, even before, depending on your age group. I also like to know when my seeds are gonna germinate and that, that kind of information is listed right on your package. So you would just read your packet and it says, oh, seeds germinate in seven days. So I like to put a G, germination, seven days. Well, how will I know seven days if I don't write the date on there? Today's date is March 22. All right, Denise, did she get to water your container in for you? 
Uh, are you was, tape it closed? Yeah, I already taped it. His mix might have been, if his if your mixes are dry, you would want to add those the water to them. So I've got to write on it what it is, too, because if I'm doing it at a kid's event and I have might be doing zinnias and I might be doing snapdragons, so I'm going to write real big on here, I have lettuce on mine. I'd also recommend when you are storing these, like at a Boys and Girls Club or wherever, you might write it in a second place again. Sometimes the sun will break that down. So I've got my date, 322 lettuce. I got my name written again down here just for safekeeping. And then it's ready for the students to take home or I've done this even with senior citizens. So then the question is, Ed, what are you gonna do with yours when you get it home? Uh, set it outside. Right, this is an outdoor container. So we're gonna leave it sit outside in a sunny area. My seeds are gonna germinate. When they get up to just a quarter inch, I'm gonna disconnect my duct tape. I'm gonna leave it sit on my porch with the hinge opened up. And then after about three or four days of having exposed them to the breeze and the wind, I can actually cut the lid off and I will harvest my lettuce right out of this container and just keep it moist and it'll last me for another month and a half and I just keep harvesting my lettuce. You could use this as an incubator and start things like zinnia seeds. What You started basil in your last one, right? Yes. So you started basil and you can do that now. You just have to be watchful because basil doesn't like cold nights so you would need to monitor it when it germinates and we get a night down to 22. Ed's gonna have to bring his in the house on those nights, but it's a good way to start seedlings for your garden. So there you go, Master Gardeners, a fun milk jug gardening project to do with kids and seniors. Have fun. We'll show you the sign. If you wanna see the list of supplies, we'll close out with that list as well.